Hi everybody, another review here and today it's the Pandorica Wave uh, from Season 5 and if you follow my Twitter and Facebook feed you'll know that I think two, maybe three weeks ago I said about getting these and I'd managed to get five out of six of them and then the other one I finally got so I finally got around to reviewing them and this is that video and it's not really new uh, merchandise but it could be useful for anyone who doesn't have this particular set in their collection or you know they're thinking about getting it or they like the they like the figures or whatever and um, yeah as I've said as well not new but you know I've um, not really been collecting them this that long so it's new in my collection but for some people this might not particularly be um, new, it might be quite old news. Anyway, so yeah, so there were six figures. There was a slight a Amy variant, um, which I think I said in my Twitter feed as well at the time. And many of you probably know. So if you bought both the Amy's, there's technically seven. Uh, yeah, seven. But uh, there was two Amy's, so I just suppose I'll get straight into it. Um, there's this one here, um, which is also was um, available on its own uh, during the season five uh, figures range. Um, which so I actually think it's better value for money as well if you bought it like this, because if you bought it as part of the season five figures range, you're just getting her. With this, you're getting the little um, CD wall which I'll go into when I get them out of the box so you're actually getting a bit more value for your money and also um, the Amy on its own for the season 5 figures is becoming uh, quite rare and quite hard to find so um, if you do manage to find it on eBay or anything it's um, getting quite expensive um, now the variant is um, uh, Amy in uh, her police uniform, you know, the fancy dress uniform. Um, so you could choose that or this one. And I chose to get this one rather than the police uniform one because um, I don't really have many of the season 5 figures. Um, I don't really have a lot of the figures because as you've only known, you know, I've not been collecting that long. But um, I don't have any of the season 5 figures, I don't think. Might have one, maybe two. Um, probably not this is probably these are probably my first season five figures really actually um yeah i think they are uh so i don't have it so i thought about getting this because then we'll more live money and you know we'll get the pandora wave and the amy uh pond figure where she's wearing the police uniform is also available in the christmas adventure sets um, which has got the a doctor with the, the new jacket and the TARDIS and I don't have that yet and I'll be getting it and of course I'll do a review so because I didn't have this and that one's and the police uniform is available in another set I thought I'll get this one now as well these were actually the UK released ones at the time and there's um, American like there's like an American version and basically it's the same figures with the uh, Amy variant as well but um, it's a shame I don't have a picture to show you actually but if you were really that keen you could look it up on eBay or you know look it up on the internet but these walls um, I'm going to show you without getting them out yet here at the top it's got a thing about the walls the, the CDs basically that join to like a wall thing now and they look good um, and they're supposed to depict the Pandorica um, you know the cube but um, the American versions they're not CDs going onto this like black wall they're like um molded sort of they're green but they're like a molded sort of thing so that um it's not a cd and if i'll take this out and show you but you can actually there you could actually see on the other side and feel where the cd sort of goes in um and on these molded american ones you look at the back and you can't see where they've gone uh, where the mold is joined or 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 anything like that it's like a flat surface and um, some say, you know, some say the American's better, some say the UK's better. I, in my opinion, I don't really mind. I mean, one day I probably would maybe like to have the American one, but I'm not really fussed at this stage. And they they both obviously show the Pandorica, they both 
depict the cube and they both look good in their own way um, and you know if you didn't have this one and uh, you were wanting to get it then maybe it would be worthwhile getting the American one I don't know but again it's up to you um, in addition as well there's the Pandoric chair set which again I haven't really got yet um, but basically um, it's the many people will probably know it's it was an it was a San Diego uh, Comic Con merchandise exclusive an SDCC and it's got river and you get the chair you, a chair and a, I think it's about 30 quid well it was when it came out I think it's slightly more now um, depending on where you get them and basically when you put all these walls together you get like five or six walls um, I'll obviously put them together and show you and this chair that came from this Pandorica chair set basically fits in the middle um, so it actually looks like the Pandorica then off the episode you know where the doctor gets locked in it and they show it and he's in this chair thing and it actually you put the chair in and it looks like it then and you can actually um, I will when I get it and there are actually um, probably a couple of people who've done reviews on it um, you can actually therefore then um, put a doctor in so you can have like your cube, open your cube and have your chair and the doctor sitting in it so um, orig and that, originally these came out a while back and um, the American one came out not so long ago I'd say maybe about a year ago um, and these were maybe about two years but the um, chair came out not so long ago either I think the chair came out around the same time as the American set did um, so people have these cubes and they think well great yeah we've got these cubes um, but then and they put like, the Pandora and everything and they're great but then this uh, you know chair thing came out and it's well the cube's even better now it's got a use you can actually put a doctor in it make it look like the episode so um, yeah so I suppose mm, less waffling now and try and get them out of the packs <laughs> And just before I do get them out of the pack, this will be the last waffling of it all. We like to obviously have a look at the packaging. So basically they're more or less all the same. But I'll just go through and give a quick skim on each. But, you know, you've got your Doctor Who logo. You've got what the figure is, the character, the fact that it's number five in the range there. Um, stuff about the fact that it's the Pandora set. And collect and build Pandora CD cube case six parts to collect and on the back which I didn't think was very good as well it doesn't show you all the figures in the range to collect it just promotes about you know this um the CDs see the little green CDs because I said you get the CDs in the UK set you get the molds in the other one and um, discover the world of Doctor Who audiobooks read by favourite actors from the TV series buy stories to download or on CD and there's the address Anyone who's interested, it's www.audiogo.co.uk. Three complete classic stories on six CDs. So this is classic Doctor Who. This is, um, you know, pre-1980s Doctor Who. Um, and we've got on CD1, Doctor Who and the Autumn Invasion Part 1. CD2, Doctor Who and the Autumn Invasion Part 2. So the Part 1s and Part 2s. Three and four are the Giant Robots. Doctor Who and the Giant Robot. Uh, five and six are Doctor Who and the Cave Monsters um, and then here six parts to collect basically what was on the front and then the usual stuff you get you know on the in the packaging the figures in general regardless of what sets they're in you know the the character logos the stuff about health and safety and the barcode and the copyright notice and what I was saying of course I'll get one out just to show you because I often do um, and actually, it's always this one. This one here is from the Season 6 Flash Wave. And it's the rare white shirt Doctor, which you've seen me uh, use for demonstration purposes a couple of times. And I, as you can see, I've still yet to get it out and review it. But what it is as well, what I'm saying in with this one is, this one obviously shows you some of the figures you can get from the Season 6. This one, I mean, okay, it's only six figures, but this one doesn't show you those six figures and yeah okay fair enough to promote the CDs but they could have put maybe the CDs here and then put some figures here but it's kind of the same thing as I said with the copyright and then on the front here you know you've got your Doc 2 logo and the colours and things so I'll just throw that out of the way 
So that's a quick summary of the packaging. So now without do, um, I'll get them out. So we've got the Amy Pond. As I said, I went for that one rather than the police uniform one. And we've got Angel Bob, who was obviously in, I can never remember the, the name of both episodes, but Flesh and, uh, Flesh and Stone and... I can never remember the second one. They were um, episodes three and four of season five, and obviously Bob was the uh, one of the uh, clerics, the soldiers who uh, got killed by the angel, and they used him. Um, the thing that comes to mind is uh, the doctor saying, "We've got comfy chairs," and he says, "Angel Bob, we have no need of comfy chairs." Um, then we've got the 11th Doctor, most notably and really cool, uh, with his fez, and he's got his mop and his screwdriver, and obviously in the Pandora Grogan's Big Bang episodes, he, it was in the Big Bang mostly, uh, he obviously jumped around briefly with the, the mop and the fez. Then we've got uh, Roman Orton, and obviously they were plastic and stuff. Then we've got a Silurian Warrior. And there's some accessories there. And we've got the Cyberman Pandarica Guard. And obviously, it, I don't know about the rest of the body, but if you remember in the episode, it its arm and head were detached and it put them back on. The head's detached here, but I don't know if you can detach the arm. Um, And there's the bits. And if you just look on the side, see so that one's four. That's three. That's two. It doesn't really say which one's which one's is which. The Cyberman Pandora Guard is four. Angel Bob is three. The Roman Orton is two. Amy's five. The Doctor's one. And the Silurian is six. So best to get them out then, get them all out of the boxes, got all the little bits and pieces and put them together and it was taking me a good 10 minutes maybe longer to get them all out some of the packaging was quite difficult um, probably the worst was the side, getting the Cyberman's head out, oh too tight anyway so there you go, as I said and also um, while I was getting these out I remembered that this Roman Autumn uh, is in brown. There's also, as part of the season 5 figures, there's a Roman Orton in a black cloak and there's a the Saloon Warrior here. There's another one or it might be a liar, I can't remember and it basically more or less looks the same so it could very well just be the same figure but available on its own like the Amy one um, or available as part of this. Um, uh, but this is also a nice sort of collection of, obviously, the two episodes. But it's a nice collection of, um, of like, season five. Because the Silurians were in the Big Bang. Um, and, the well, the Pandora opens, obviously, at the bit where the, the end, where there was the Alliance and there was all the races. Um, obviously, the Roman Ordens were in it, the Silurians were in it, the Sadmen were in it. I don't think the Weeping Angels were in it, though. Which shows you as well that this is a season 5 thing, because obviously we had, if we start from the start, we had, you know, Amy in the Daleks episode, that's what she was wearing, Victory of the Daleks, um, and later on, the next episodes we had the Weeping Angel, Double Parter, then we had Cold Blood, and, um, I've forgotten the other one, the, the, the two the two uh, parts, Silurian one, and then later on, obviously, we have the, the Big Bang, Pandora Opens. Um, so, if I go to Amy, obviously, because she's not really got any accessories, so you get your, your cube, right, your cube piece, and they all look the same, except they're all on them, they've got printed which CD they are on, don't know if you can see that very well, that one's number five, yes, you can, that's number five, so... Each one will tell you which, you know, CD it is. And what I was saying before as well, um, the American versions were sort of moulded in and they're half the, 
would have been ideal getting a picture. They're half the size, I think, so I think they're only about that big from there to like there. Um, and if you turn it over, it's kind of flat all the way. You can't see an indent where uh, the mould has been. Whereas on these ones, if you turn it over, you've kind of got an indent where the CD is. But to be honest, you're not really going to see that, are you, inside? So there's all these six pieces. If I just move them out the way. I'm going to put the cube together. Right, so just move them all out the way. Get all the bits. I think I've just dropped something somewhere, actually. I'll come back to you. Sorry about that, guys. What it is, is one of the pieces. Um, some of them, are, as you know, said, come with little pieces. The angel one comes with, like, a little communicator thing. Um, if you remember from the um, two angel episodes, they had those communicators that they spoke into. Um, and Amy had the one when she borrowed it and all that. Anyway, well, there's one here, and it's so, so small, and I kind of lost it. Or thought I'd lost it, and it fell on the floor, so I had to have a look at it. Um, but it fell while I was moving all the stuff around. But basically, I put all the discs... There you are, so six. Um, so, where were we? We were on the Amy one, weren't we? So, before we start that, what I'm saying... And each one comes with one of these. So I'll move five of them out the way. And they're exactly the same, I had a quick look. And basically it's promoting those, um, it said about the audiobooks, it's promoting them. So, Discover the World of Doctor Who and the Sarah Jane Adventures audiobooks. Read by favourite actors from the TV series. Buy stories to download or on CD. And, it's, you know, there's a couple there it's promoting. And some of them are only download, some of them you can... Available from Audiogo and other good CD and download audio retails. Get look inside... There we go. And there, it says there, you know, read by Matt Smith, that one, The Runaway Train, and The Ring of Steel, read by Arthur Darville. And then on the back, they're promoting some of the classic ones. So, um, for those who are interested, Doctor Who and the Terror of the Autons, Doctor Who Daleks Mission to the Unknown, um, Doctor Who, Demon Quest and Hornet's Nest. And if we go back in, the Runaway Train, as I said, the Ring of Steel. Um, Sarah Jane Adventure ones here, they've got Wraith World, Wrath World, uh, Deadly Download, also available, The Glistering Storm, The Thirteen Stone, The Time Catch, or The Ghost House, The Shadow People, The White Wolf, and soon, The June Pyramid, it's a Doctor Who one. And on the front, are there any different ones here? Uh, Night of the Humans, The Shadow People, Apollo 23, The White Wolf, which is inside. And some of these as well are actually usually, from what I recall, actually available in as books. So if you don't want the particular story, you know, to, on audio, you can get them as books. So put that back over there. So the Amy one, excuse me, just get myself a bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, so... It's Petroy and Amy, the clothes she was wearing, as I said, from the Dalek episode, Victory of the Dalek. Um, mobile, uh, she can move her arms. Quite, 360 there. As usual, you know, I like to put the camera down. So, there's no, you can move, you can move the arm bit around. The other one. The head doesn't move, but the top body moves 360. Which means the bottom bit will move 360. The feet, the legs, there you go. It's a bit of ability on the legs but mostly if you you know you move the legs you can't um have a sort of skirt there and move the legs 360 if you move you can move them slightly there but if you kind of move them like that it moves the whole thing 
Um, so I'll put Amy to one side. Um, I suspect the rest of them are kind of like that as well. Um, general mobility, you know, moving the arms and the legs. Um, you can't move the doctor's head on that one, but you can move his arms 360, including both sides of the arms. Hope you didn't hear that, that was my phone, sorry. The legs are a good turn. You can only turn the waist a little bit, not on much. Whereas in um, a lot of the other ones, especially the season 6 ones, you can do a 360 on the, the waist and the body. The Roman Orton, the head you can't move, but I'm not surprised with the, with the uh, coat. I th yep, I think you can take it off. I'm not sure if you see that there. You can. It's not fixed. And can you take it off? And if you take it off, can you put it back on again? I'm not gonna risk it. Even with that sort of loose, you can't really move the head. The arms, just on the joint there's a bit of movement you can't really move them much up and down there it's just on the joints and there's a bit of a, a sword there which I think you can move slightly slightly just readjust but you can't you can't take it off Oh, you can. There you go. Gotta be careful though, because you could break it if you're not careful. I'm hoping that's what I've just not done. There you go. You can take the sword off. I just did. Uh, And you can just put it, there's a little hole there, you just put it back in to take it away so I can do it. And there's another one here and I'm not sure if you can take that off. Um, legs wise, there's a bit of mobility. And it looks like you could do a 360, except for the sword getting in the way. A 360 on the waist turn. Oh, and I forgot to mention as well, the Doctor has a sonic screwdriver as part of his accessories. And compared to um, other ones I've reviewed, other Doctor figures, um, I'm sure it won't be the last. Um, the hand, the grip is very firm. I've had one, I think I've only reviewed two other Doctor figures where they've had them um, sonic screwdrivers um, and then maybe one or two other ones that don't and um, those two that do, um, I think one of them has a decent grip and the other has a, a rubbishy grip. This one has a very good grip. Um, so which one's that? So And the Silurian one, the head there's a little bit of movement on the head, the waist is very tiny but obviously I think the skirt would probably block that. So 360 on the, the arm there. And there's a little bit there on that. Uh, legs, the bottom bit, the bottom joint you can move. Waist, as I said, you can't move much. The Cyberman, obviously the head, uh, you can take it off. You can put the head back on. Doesn't look like it very easily. 
basically, but uh, you can put the head back on there and you can take it off. The arms, there's a 360 there. Again, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to try and put the better way or try and get the tripod out for these. That one there was slightly different. It doesn't go that way like it doesn't go that way like the other one did. That one is up in and out y um legs the feet move a little bit but the legs obviously don't really move. They'll move forward and backwards like that for marching, you know. Um, and obviously the Weeping Angel um, doesn't really move, have legs. Um, the head, there's a bit of movement on the head there. The arms, move, bearing in mind the wings are in the way. Um, That one works as well. Um, waist. 360 on the waist bit. I want the wings that uh, look like they are sort of detachable. So if you take them off you could move the arms a bit more I would think. But the wings, uh, I've got them like that. So, there's a little bit of movability in the wings, so you can have them in and out. Um, uh, rub it like that. Then like that. A bit of movability. So basically, that's the movability of the figures. Um, I'll put them over here now, haven't I? So, each sort of come with their own accessories, not all of them. Um, the Roman Orton obviously comes with the two swords that are attached. Um, he didn't come with any accessories, just got these accessories. Put them there. Um, the Silurian came with a mask, which I'm going to put on. Hopefully. There you go. A weapon. And one of those transporter discs that, you know, in the episode, the Cold Blood episode, they came up from the service with these transporter disc things. Um, so that one's done. You'll see them when I put them all together, their thingies at the end, quickly. Um, Weeping Angel came with a communicator. As I said, that was fidgeting, you're going to lose, not careful. Um, and the Doctor's uh, jacket, because if you recall in the episodes, they kind of steal his jacket. Um, they, they grab him by his jacket and then he sort of gets free and obviously has to leave his jacket. Um, funnily enough as well, I saw something on Facebook that somebody had that. Um, and they took not took it out of the packaging and they had the exclusive doctor who doesn't season five doctor that doesn't have a jacket and they made it look as if he was trying to sonic screwdriver into the packaging to get his jacket back. Uh, then you've got the Cyberman who has his head and he also has this bit and you know if the episode that's part of the head and he sort of put the head back on I can't I'm not gonna put it with one hand but like that. You get the idea. Can't put it together with one hand, but uh, and then he obviously fitted it back on, didn't he? Maybe he didn't come with anything. And the doctor came with his sonic screwdriver, and he's got his fez attached, and he came with a mop. So I'll just put them all together and have a quick look, and then I'll be quick with the uh, discs, and then we'll be done very quickly. And yeah, you'll see some real other stuff. So you should have really put them on the disc, but you get the point. There's the Silurian, there's Amy, with his mop. Hagman's holding his head, and there's the thingy with his uh, communicator, and holding the doctor's jacket.
Now I've basically put the cube together for the, the last piece, but depending on what you want, um, if you want the whole cube, obviously, put your sixth final piece on. Some people have hidden theirs like that because they want to um, display figures in there or, or whatever. But when you actually get the chair, um, I think, you know, you'd put the extra one under there and have your chair in there. But from what I've uh, seen, people have actually um, had to put these back slightly. Um, so it looks a bit more open so that they can fit the chair in, I'm not so sure but when I, you know, get that and we start reviewing uh, we review it, you know, we can talk about that but um, because these little group, these little things are slotting at the side here and I think you move them back a couple of notches when you actually put the chair in um, Uh, so yeah, so you move them back a couple of notches, but basically I'm going to leave that for now. I will probably put that on, but you know, basically it's the same, it's just a cube. Yeah, so I'm going to put this last one on, and I'll obviously take it off when I, you know, actually get the, the chair, and we'll go through it as I said, but basically you just, and it's probably the easiest piece because you put the rest of them together. And as usual, nothing is ever simple when you've got one hand, so I'm just possibly going to put this down. I don't know. There we go, got it. And there you go. So that was uh well not very cool. well not too bad uh, a video of 30 minutes i think video review on the pandorica set hope you enjoyed it